You can see Susan later. Let the docs take care of you now. It was crazy. But I showed her. You ain't the only hero around. You did fine, Paul. Wouldn't have had the nerve. You hadn't come back to town. Where is Susan? Paul. Oh, God. What did I do? Doesn't look too used for $250. Uh, what have you been doing to the engine? How fast will it go? Ten miles or more an hour. Faster than anything on the road. You ought to use some of that reward for things that you really need. I need this car. You're going after them, then? Hunting something you taught me, Pa. Learn the habits of the animal, read the signs, track, chase, set traps. Deal with it whatever way you have to to bring it down. These are people you're talking about. That makes them worse. Animals only kill to survive. They don't know right or wrong. They know. They'll kill more if they ain't stopped. Man's tools better be up to the job he puts his hand to. Especially if he's going to lay his life on the line. Take care of it, May. What's uh, what set him off? How do I know? Ow! Come on, kid. May's gonna give us the boot. That lousy, lousy fink. Always it's the other guy. I mean, what am I, garbage? Well, now, come on, just calm down. What are you talking about? Make sense. Time and time again, it has been Frank Klinger, a cool-headed, hot gun that pulls the gang through in the face of overwhelming odds. Well, who said that? It's Ben Marks writing about Frank. You know what you and me are? Zeros. Frank Klinger this, Frank Klinger that. Wit, daring, courage. Frank Klinger, how about me? While Frank weighs the odds, planning each foray like a shrewd tactician, moving his minions like chess pieces. Minion. That's, that's me. It's the story of my life. Chateau Thierry, I was a PFC. I took three slugs one afternoon, knocking out a Hun machine gun single-handed. You know what they did? They gave my lieutenant a medal! Who cares, Walda? Who cares? I care! Me! I want people to know I'm here! Hey, now cut it out. Come on, don't get any crazy act. Hey, that news hound's gonna remember my name, or he ain't gonna be around to write anyone's.
Told me at the city desk I'd find you here, Mr. Marks. Remember me? Yeah, yeah, I remember. This booth here is taken. I want to apologize for roughing you up. I was pretty upset. Yeah, I could tell. So, okay, forget it. Goodbye. Give me a few minutes. Will you go away if I do? I came because there's no one knows more about Frank Klinger and his bunch than you. Uh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're going after Klinger? Figured I might. You're nuts, you know that? You lucked in when you picked off Alvin. I'll go home, you're ahead. One of your stories I saw where Frank was orphaned at 10. You say his 14-year-old sister took over raising him? Apparently. In the home of an uncle. Well, his uncle, what happened to him? He just faded out somewhere along the line. A small-time con man and a cattle thief. Well, you wrote they were raised in Oregon, but you didn't say whereabouts. Well, I couldn't pin it down. Somewhere in the eastern part of the state. But they wouldn't be hanging out there anymore. Why are you so sure? What makes you think different? I looked up all their jobs. There's a pattern. In Northern California, Redding, Susanville, Alturas, all hid inside two weeks, then nothing for two months. Montana, Libby, Thompson Falls, Ronan, Cutbank, Shelby, all in three weeks, then nothing for three months. Then Nevada and so on. Each time, four to six robberies in a hundred mile radius, and then nothing. Every western state but one. Oregon. Well, they'll get around to us. Don't think so. Some animals won't hunt near their lair. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> ben Marks. Walt? Hey, look, I gotta work now, okay? Goodbye. Appreciate your help, Mr. Marks. Walt, I've been crying to talk to one of you guys. Well, of course I punch up Frank. He's the boss. He's the most interesting one. Frank would be dead a dozen times, but for me, I'm the guy who covers. I can handle a Tommy gun just as good as him. Now, where do you get off writing me off like an errand boy? Well, I'll be glad to do you. Give me an interview. You name it, the time and the place. Of course, I'm not going to set you up. I'm a reporter, not a cop. May's place? Where outside Pendleton? Keep going south on 30. It's a roadhouse. You can't miss it. Cross me and you're dead. Ah, you don't have to worry about me, Walt. I make my bucks riding, not arresting. And I can clean up on that exclusive interview with you. I can be there at about 3 o'clock. And I'll make you immortal. Goodbye. Hey, Charlie. Put my stuff away for me, will you? I gotta stop off in the office. Tell my editor that I'm gonna be out of touch for a little while. Uh, 